I have to say that I'm really, really uh, grateful uh, to the Finnish presidency for giving this issue such a high profile during their presidency, even sometimes under great pressure or criticism of others. But Finland rightly assumes, rightly concludes, that uh, without respect for the rule of law, there is no European Union. This is the very foundation of what, uh, where the Union is built upon, and uh, this is something that needs attention, and when there are problems, in spirit of cooperation, we raise those problems and we try to solve them through dialogue. Uh, and this is exactly what happened uh, today. And uh, um, I can say very clearly that all those who believe that this is sort of the end of the era because I'm going to hand over my portfolio to other colleagues in the Commission, and they believe that this puts an end to this debate, are absolutely wrong. It is very clear that also President-elect von der Leyen, when she addressed the European Parliament, was crystal clear about the fact that also the von der Leyen Commission will continue with pursuing the respect for the rule of law by all member states. And I cannot be clear enough on this. If we want the European Union to address all the issues that the world is throwing at us, it can only be addressed if we are united as European Union. And we can only be united if we agree that the fundamental values of the European Union, including the rule of law, should be respected by all member states and all institutions. So um, I leave this role with increased optimism. I know there's still a lot to do, but I heard today the strong commitment of the presidency of the member states and uh, also of the institutions to make sure that the rule of law is respected everywhere in the European Union. Thank you. We are ready to take